Welcome to Crotoni Entertainment. I'm Chris. Oh, Bree. And we're going to do something a little bit different today. Bree's laughing because she just asked me if I put the transitions to the video. And I don't know if I did because this is a professional YouTube channel. We're doing, uh, I was going to call this Orc Ecology. This is what I was going to call this episode for Painting Hero Quest. Uh -huh. But I'm finding actually when I'm actually descriptive in the video titles, we get more views than when I make puns. I mean, that's, so, you know. Uh, we're just calling this Orc Skin Tones. So instead of actually tackling more orcs, because we've already painted an orc kind of the intermediate level, yeah, this is going to be a bunch of basic, simple orc skin tone options. Dorkfish. So everybody's familiar with the classic green orc. We already painted that in our intermediate, the orc video. So we're taking another orc, and this one is a simple version. So a lot of this is going to be based off of washes and contrast paints. Mm -hmm. um, and I know Army Painter's coming out with uh, a quick shade or whatever it is sometime soon, or it's already out or whatever. And I do want to try those when those are available. Um, but this is basically literally the orc flesh from the contrast line. And all we're going to do with this orc is we're going to paint this uh, traditional green uh, orc flesh all over one of the women orc models uh, from the Hero Quest game. Lady orcs, lady orcs. Yes, lady orcs, lady orcs brought to you by drunken storks. <laughs> And there's not a lot to say about this particular color. It's, it's the classic green. This is what everybody thinks of when they think of orcs. Uh, the areas on the Hero Quest minis have enough uh, depth to them, enough recesses to them, yeah. that it takes the contrast nicely. Mm -hmm. There's enough skin not showing uh, that any large flat areas don't stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're not even touching the armor or anything today. We maybe come back and do an orc... Um, clothing or orc armor episode later in the future haven't decided want to focus on this orc skin tone uh for this one just to give you some ideas and different ways to paint your orcs because orcs is cool orcs is awesome orcs is the best orcs is the best that's uh, one of the only good things that uh we really carried away from our time with uh, gw is orcs is the see, best. We, see we still haven't really talked about our time with gw and i don't want i still don't want to get into that Yet, I, I, I'm trying to be overwhelmingly positive on the. On but the orcs channel. is the best. Orcs is I love. I've always loved orcs. I don't know why. I just think they're really cool. So this next orc, we're doing with a Nazdreg yellow, because not, orc drinks too much. Well, not or, orcs need to be just straight up green. I've done orcs for uh, my old Warhammer Fantasy army. I had some albino orcs. Yes, you did. That I actually did with instead of a white, it was like a like a pale, pale sea foam. Yeah, it was like green. a like a yeah. almost white sea foam green. Um, I've done I heard that somewhere. I've done like um, blue green, you know, heavy on the blue side skin tone orcs, and they look really cool. Your troll bloods, your uh, troll bloods well, were kind well, those, of orky. Well, those are actually straight up blue. Yeah. Those, those are blues and grays. But this one, we're starting with Nasdrag Yellow. But this is not just going to be a video of me showing you painting contrast paints on orcs, because anybody can do that. Uh, anybody can do what I'm doing, too. That's the whole point of the everyman paint style behind the simple versions. Uh, but this is to give you some ideas of maybe things you didn't think about doing with your color combinations before. So not a lot of people think of more of a yellow tone to your orc skin. I think it looks pretty cool, but let's put some green in there. So I've got this Beltan or Beltan green from uh, Citadel. Mm -hmm. Any green wash will do. I don't even know if they make this wash anymore. I've had it for a very, very long time. It might have a new name, uh, but any green wash will do. And we're just doing a green wash over the dried contrast paints. And this is going to add a lot of green while leaving a lot of the yellow showing. And you're going to get a unique skin tone that almost looks more, I mean, it looks more natural. Regular skin tones are not the same shade all the way through. I mean, I'm not yeah. talking orcs with farmer's tans, which I mean, <laughs> that could be a thing. That could be a thing. But some of these armor uh, layouts they wear, they'd have some weird tan lines, man. Yeah, they would. Yeah, uh, they would. But now you've got a lot of green here. And you've still got that yellow showing through for a unique skin tone that maybe you didn't think about. That's just really, really easy. So let's get out this beefcake. He's beefy. Look at this guy. So he's going to start with the Nasdrag yellow tip. Okay. Okay. Wait for it. It's very similar to the other Wait one. Wait for There it so is. So here he is with the Nasdrag yellow. We just jump right to the end of that. But we're going to do something different over him. We've got our ethermatic blue from the contrast ooh, line. Ooh, I know this. Yellow and blue make green. They do. <laughs> but I've also discovered this ethermatic blue, because I've used this on some other minis, makes a very cool uh, kind of interesting. It's, it's an interesting green. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, you can see it. Um, thing. So again, we're doing the simple version. We're not forcing shading ourselves. We're letting the contrast and the washes do their job. Because we're lazy. And but this is also the simple video. You know, we could do a more intermediate one where we pick some details out. Uh, we'll probably do that with the goblins because I've, I've tackled 
pretty much all the orcs now with the skin at least. Yep. Uh, so we'll probably do something like that with the goblins or the abominations, different ways to do your skin. So we don't just play with that one orc because he was the only painted one and we like the pictures of the painted orcs. That orc is amazing. Every time we every time that orc died, we pull that orc back out because he was the only one that had paint on him. <laughs> that was good stuff. So this either matter glue over is going to again create that same type of green. And when you add more details like painting the armor and painting the loincloth, it's going to pop even more. But here's just another example of a green maybe you didn't think about. So, what do you? What does everybody think of orcs? I think orcs are cool. I've always thought orcs. Are, I think orcs are oppressed. I really do. No, I, I do. do not think orcs are oppressed. So this is plague bearer flesh. I, I think mean, orcs are oppressed in I, most settings. I think that's the in reason. Most settings, I think that's yeah. the reason they become so warlike and so angry is because they've been oppressed by all air quotes civilized society. So what chiller are you starting? here? This one is plague bearer green from the contrast oh, line. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so, so it's this like that real like like almost um, like neon green color. Uh, it's it's got an aspect of that to it. Uh, it's it's paler, definitely. It's more it's actually more pastel than green. I, th- I uh, than neon. Yeah. Um, it almost looks more like a what a, a green might show up on an animal. That bright, rich, deep green from like the orc flesh. You're not going to see that on a real world animal typically. But when that dries, we're going to pull out our Agrax Earth Shade because we need some additional shading to this because on a this is a light color on a light undercoat, so you're not getting really really defined shaded areas. But if we paint this Agrax or shade all over it, that's going to seep into the recesses. It's going to kind of create, you can you can actually see it, it's going to kind of create like a line between the skin and where the clothing and the armor and all that is. And this is a another take on a green orc. It's still green. It's got some of those yellows built into it. It's now got some browns from the Agrax or shade that make it look more natural. And we haven't done anything special. That's, that's basically the beauty. We have not done anything special. You don't need to study skin tones and research lighting and watch a thousand hours of YouTube videos to paint your minis. I mean, unless you want to. Pick up your minis and experiment. This is the Nighthaunt Gloom. I love that color. No, this is not. This is the Hexwraith Flame is what this one's called. Yeah, well, it's, the Nighthaunt it's, Gloom is blue. Yeah. This is the Hexwraith Flame. The Hexwraith. So this is, so is a, this is a technical paint that Games Workshop put out to help you speed paint ghosts. Mm-hmm. And you'll see it's it's almost even thinner than a contrast paint. Yeah, it so is. So it's kind of a mix between a contrast paint and a wash almost. Uh, but it gives this just otherworldly uh, layer to the green. This is like like an orc from like the deep dark. But we don't want this orc to look like she's a ghost. She's so, not bioluminescent. So we are going to take a step further than this. So if you're if you're sitting on your minis and you're watching too many videos, she looks like she got into a fight with Slimer. She does. If you're sitting <laughs> on your minis and you're watching too many videos and you're you're taking too much time. You're fret, you're fretting over whether or not you have the right materials. Guys, just pick up your minis and start painting them. The best teacher is experience. Uh, a lot of things you watch in videos, especially videos more technical than mine. So this is the known oil just washing over it to create some depth, um, especially in videos that are more technical than mine. You're going to understand the concepts a lot better if you actually start putting brush to mini. You'll get an idea for how your brush feels in your hand. I can recommend brushes to you all day long. I, for the most part, use El Cheapo brushes. Yeah. Um, I can recommend brushes to you all day, all day long, though. But until you actually hold them in your hand, you don't know how they're going to feel. Uh, and I can describe to you the texture of the miniature all day long, but until you actually try to put paint on it, yep. you're not going to know how it feels. There's my phone again, because this is professional YouTubing here. Oh, it actually is a text message. Let's see who it's from. Ooh. Um, is it a work one? It's a work it, one. It's a, it's a work one. I took work off today. and um, Yeah. They, they have not. Ooh, this is the red one. So this now one. Now Chris is making a red or. You have Ulag, and you have Ulag's son as characters in the first quest book. I don't know what's in the other quest books. I have not read them because I did not play them as a kid, so I want them to be a surprise to me. But I know that there's Ulag, the orc warlord. So let's do an orc that stands out from the other orcs. And what I, what I instantly thought of is uh, Warcraft 3. I'm not a fan of World of Warcraft, but I was a fan of Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, and Warcraft 3. And in Warcraft 3, one of the storylines, there's work again buzzing me. It's nothing important. Um, so what I what I did here was I thought of the the chaos orcs because there's oh, yeah. a moment where the orcs like they get their blood rage back and a bunch of them turn red and they get like bigger and they get stronger. So I thought we're gonna make an orc pop. Let's do a red orc because there are no rules. Purple orcs, pink orcs, green orcs, orange orcs, yellow orcs, red orcs, blue orcs. Whatever you want to do with your orcs, Plat you can orcs. do it. And he looks good. He looks cool. He kind of looks like uh, and, and oh, the, uh oh boy a little bit. And we're gonna bring it into the home stretch here with a little more of the numb oil just right over this red. And this is it. This is all we wanted to talk about in this video. We're not getting into the armor. We're not getting into the clothing. We're not getting into anything fancy. This is all we're doing today. We're talking about different orc skin tones. Uh, I encourage you 
to try a couple of these. Paint your orcs in different skin tones. They don't all have to look the same. People don't all look the same. Even people uh, from the same you know, region that have similar skin tones don't all look the same. Yeah, so families. experiment with your orcs and, and try it out and like and subscribe for more content. Hit that bell button for notification. We'll get back into probably a piece of furniture next week and just get out there and paint your minis, guys. Experiment with some colors. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'll put these up on Instagram so everybody can see the finished products. You're still painting. I am. It's almost over. Are you sure? And we're gone. Ha ha. Bye.